Do you want to boost your athletics ability in Cyberpunk 2077 using a simple Python script? If so, stick around. All right, so you may be wondering from the beginning of the video, how do I exactly automate playing Cyberpunk without being around? Well, with Python, it's really easy to do. And what you're going to see is the script that I wrote after I kind of went through and figured everything out. It's not a perfect script. It was really just a quick and dirty to see if I could do it, see if it's effective enough for me. Feel free to make modifications, whatever you want to, to the script, and just, you know, have fun. Because when I play in Cyberpunk, I'm more of like a hacker kind of person, and I don't really go in for the brawl a whole lot. But there are some scenarios where I need more athleticism in that kind of part of my build that I don't really level up a ton. So this is kind of a nice way and almost like a meta cyberpunk way of boosting your character. So let me show you the script, and then I'm going to show you a recording of it actually running in the game and do a comparison at the end, and voila. So let's start. First, you're going to want to come in here. And you're going to want to import a few things. You want to import mouse, import time, and import keyboard. Your mouse is obviously going to control your mouse. The time I have here is to show you from beginning to end how long it takes this program to run. And the keyboard, I'll show you that in just a minute, but there is one tiny thing we need to do after we're done punching. So let's come into here. We're going to make a function called punch. It's going to take punches. And so for I in range of zero, oh, we're going to do, yeah, range. So we're going to do punches plus one because it's exclusive at the end here. We're going to come in. We do mouse dot click left. And what I discovered is if you have mouse click left over and over and over again, it's just a punch. And if you do double click, it like holds the punch and does something weird in the game. So what you're going to need to do is do a time dot sleep for about half a second. I believe this takes a float, so you could do even more exact timing and fine tune it as you wish. So then what I did in here is not that. I came in here and just doubled this up. And so, okay, this is my function I'm going to use. So this is when it runs. I'm going to give it an amount of punches here. And it's just going to loop through and do that for me. Now, keep in mind the punches, this value that you provide it later on in the program, you're going to want to tweak it depending on how much stamina you have based upon how many punches you throw compared to how long you have to wait for your stamina to rebuild. So this may be a little bit of a trial and error. This was good enough for me. So we're going to come down in here. Give time to kick off because I hit the Windows key to kick out of the game. And then I go to the terminal or the console, whatever you want to call it. And I run this. Then I have to click back in the game and get set up. And yeah, I just give myself just a few seconds to get going here. Because you never know. And then this is the thing that... I use this because I like the measurements of this, and I was trying to see how much time it took to run the, or to run this. And I found that running it about 150 times in about a 35, 40, 45 minute session um, is just kind of what you get. At least that's why I was making dinner and taking care of my dog and whatnot. So that we have the counter now, and the counter is how many times this thing is going to run. So I could have done this based upon setting some kind of date time. If it's after this date and time, shut off. You could get fancy schmancy with it if you want to. But for me, I just roughly know how much, how much it takes to run like one instance roughly on my computer. So I just do the math calculations on like a notepad or something. So we're going to do while counter. It's less than or equal to 150, arbitrary number here. 
We're going to do punch and five. So that means we're going to come up here and we're going to loop through this five times. So punch, pause, punch, which is going to give you that one, two repeatedly um, five times in a uh, five times in a row here. Okay, cool. So one thing I also like to do for a sanity check, because especially coming from a JavaScript world, I like to kind of have some kind of console log out almost just to see where I'm at in the program. We're going to counter plus equal one because we don't want to be in an infinite loop. That kind of sucks. And then pause to regain stamina. Time dot sleep. We're going to give it eight seconds there. Once again, you could toggle this. I do believe it's a float. So you could you could really fine tune it for your case. You could probably even add your jumping while this is you know sleeping and you're regaining your stamina. And then this is the thing that I think is important. Move forward in case punches send you backwards. So we're going to use the keyboard here. And I believe for the keyboard and the mouse, you're going to have to do like a pip install. So just look up the keyboard and the mouse libraries. It should be really easy to find. And just do an install in your um, terminal, your directory, wherever you're programming or running this. And then we're going to keyboard press forward. And then release W there. Alrighty, so what we're doing is we're punching five times in a row, running that um, loop up there five times through. We're letting you know that it, what counter we're at, which means then afterward we add one to the counter. So it goes from zero to one, up to 250 here. And then we're letting it rest for eight seconds. And while it's doing that, we're moving forward. So we're not punching ourselves away from the wall. It doesn't happen a lot, but in a game that's kind of buggy, you just don't want to risk anything, especially if you're running this for hours while you're gone. So the ending time here is going to be end equals time dot time. And this is actually, I think, what I just like stole from the documentation because I don't really do these kinds of print statements. So that's why they're different from the rest. Runtime of the program is end equals start. Thanks for doing that. Coming down here. Program ended. And this should simply be it. Let me expand this up here for you. I use Visual Studio Code. I'm actually copying what's there, but I didn't want to show you kind of the code that I've already written. You're like, hey, what, what's going on now? So. Yeah, you're basically coming through here. You have your, your function, your punches, how many times you run this loop of the one, two. So basically draining your stamina. And then you come down here at uh tells you what counter you're at, which is nice if you're coming in your room to check. Then you are adding one to the counter, resting for eight seconds. And then after that, you move forward and punch again. So that's pretty cool. And then we calculate the time at the end because it may be different in everyone's computer depending on your setup. So let me come in here and actually show you the code in and of itself. I'll expand this out. So this keyboard thing, it, it says couldn't import it, um, could not be resolved. This works. This is Visual Studio Code being weird. But if we come on up here, we see that it does indeed run repeatedly. And this is like, 2,135 seconds, and according to the video that I actually recorded, I'm going to show in a moment, uh, that's about 35, I think 35 minutes off the top of my head. Don't quote me, though. But let's go look at the gameplay. All right, so let's go check this out in the real world here. And so we're running this. I'm showing you where I'm at on the map. You could really find any wall as long as no one's trying to shoot you or anything. These are my stats. Body's at 7. Athletics is at 3. 0%, luckily it was at 0% for this experimentation here. And so just kind of showing you around here. Got some street cred, that other stuff, but uh, let's pop out and let's run the script here. 
and we're going to run it at 200% speed so it doesn't bother anyone and we don't wait here for 35 minutes. So as you can see, it waits for a while and then it punches and it's going to just repeat for about 35 minutes here. So we could see that it's going and it's going and it's going. And while you're doing this, you could go up, walk your dog like I did with my dog, go to the grocery store, you could take a nap, you could go do anything you want to. And so this is an interesting way to hack a game if you want to do so and maybe boost a stat or something about your character where you would maybe have to spend hours grinding doing some kind of gameplay you don't want to or some style you don't want to. Plus, I think this is pretty meta for it being cyberpunk that kind of hacked the game. So here we go at like 8,050% speed, and let's check out what the results are here at the end. And you can see here, coming back on in, we only raised it 42% from our original outset, but think about running this overnight. Think about running this multiple times during the week or just taking my code and improvising or implementing better ways to boost your athletics. It's not a uh, silver bullet, but hey, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you want me to do any more cool stuff like this or at least attempt to. Have a good one.